history. One, oh, one. Alright, what's up guys and welcome to Gaming History 101. Uh, I'm Fred Rojas and uh, today we are going to be taking a look at the Mega Man Legacy Collection. Now this was recently uh, released um, and contains the first six NES Mega Man games in their entirety uh, along with a bunch of collector's items and things like that. I don't know. I've got it, clearly, but uh, I do not... Um, I honestly have not gotten a chance to play it, so uh, let's take a gander at it together. So here we go. Uh, as you can see in the lower uh, right corner, there's a chat. Since there's no one in Twitch chat right now, I'm going to pop this over. I know you love seeing my beautiful face, but we'll pop this over to full screen and uh, we'll get going on it. Sorry if you just heard it. Like Digital Eclipse joint. Already You know, classic Mega Man. Big chunky sprites blown up to 1080p. Love it. All right, let's go. Pause select, okay. There's an auto fire button? Boo! Not gonna be using that. Can't, just not right. Okay. Alright, real quick, I wanna play with the music player for a second. Oh, it's got the full soundtrack, that's so good. Ready? Japan uh, box art, not the dog terrible American box art, which was pretty terrible for both Mega Man 1 and 2, and then finally in 3. We get something not this good, but closely resembling uh, an actual Mega Man box. Um, before I'm trying to remember, I don't know. Actually, the Japanese box art's just so much better across the board. Anyway, uh, Mega Man 1's a little archaic by today's design. That doesn't mean it's bad, but it's just a little archaic. pretty smooth. It looked like it was hitching for a second, sorry. Um, but uh, Mega Man 2, you know, controversially with Mega Man 3 as the best games in the series. Um, and uh, I want to give a big shout out and happy birthday to Neo Jake, Jake McClenahan. Oh, first the music. All right, me, hold on. I'm making this work. All right, me, I just uh, knocked it down a notch. Let me know if that uh, is working out a lot better. Uh, hopefully that does. So uh, let me know my levels. I always try to try, uh, test it with the recording, but of course you can't uh, tell how it's going to be. Um, am I doing better? All right, so... Uh, uh, so we're actually going to go with Mega Man 3 um, for Mr. Neo Jake Jake McClenahan, whose birthday it is. So happy birthday, Jake. Here we go. Ooh, there's a 
there's all kinds of fun stuff. We're just gonna play the game. we go TV full wide okay I don't know if I want wide I might go full throw a border on there and let's see looks okay let's see what we get if we go with monitor yeah like monitor coming in a little on the louder side now, so hopefully that'll work out, but uh, I'm trying to remember the order in which I'm supposed to play these guys in. And for the life of me, I can't. So let's go with Top Man. He seems like a fun little place to start. Key to good emulation is can you handle or can it handle NES control as well? Which is definitely why I went PS4 for the D pad over Xbox One, although the Xbox One controller seems to have a pretty rock solid D pad. Well, they have emulated the slowdown, that's for sure. Oh yeah! Yeah, you bet you didn't think I could do that! But I can. I think they did that because a lot of people had the NES Max coming up. So, thus far, I don't know how many of you have played this, but... Um, Hopefully that works out. This is these are Shenmue levels now. <laughs> There's the cat. Wow, okay, so I knew there was slowdown on the NES. But this seems to be a little taxing on it. Maybe not, maybe my memory is just off. Not the please! Alright. 
That's gonna help me. But not much if you don't make the jump. <laughs> There's Top Man, first time through. And I was saying auto fire is a cheat. I forgot. These games are so freaking hard. Auto fire just evens it out. <laughs> People may disagree with me on that, <laughs> but there's a top man in the back. Whoa. Wrong one, wrong one. <laughs> anyway, for this commercial break. This sequence is pretty cool, too, where you have the top spin. Top man, who's next? Who's next? I don't know if I want to take on Hard Man. Maybe Snake Man. Go! change one thing about the controls there we go button configuration all right he's using triangles in a weird spot But yeah, I started thinking back and I was like, wait, I never beat a single Mega Man without the NES Max, so, which was a uh, Turbo Fire button, so like, why in the world would I try it now? Like, I haven't gotten better at these games. Far from it, I've probably gotten worse. <laughs> Who's that big guy? I do love the big scale of those. I, I can't even remember if that was Capcom showing off or if it was really just a conscious decision. Probably both. NES Advantage, uh, me saying in the chat, um, was actually the arcade stick, but it did have Turbo Fire as well, so it was possible to use. But no, the NES Max had this really terrible analog setup, um, and uh, yeah, it was uh, the one I used. It was also uh, much cheaper than the Advantage. Um, maybe I can dig up the photo. Actually, uh, we've got it on GamingHistory101.com, uh, but yeah. It had this weird, um, kind of like touchpad roll around stick, but it had these two little gray buttons that were your turbo. And you know what? For the life of me, I've never gotten that from the NES. I probably should, because games like Mega Man are kind of, like, impossible without it. Another game I can think of that I probably will only ever own on NES is the Atari Warriors. Jump did me wrong. Here we go. Do something right back on the jump. There 
There we go. So far, emulation pretty spot on. Um, a little hitchy. Doesn't quite get to the virtual console, but then again, it's upscaling to 1080p and doing all these fun effects. And it's the PS4 trying to do something. I don't know. I'm on the fence here. Uh, you know, because it's like emulators have been doing this for a long time and they've never really had a problem. But this is officially licensed. So, um, and plus, uh, you know, not not to dog on um, any of the guys who work at Digital Eclipse, but Digital Eclipse has always done pretty good emulation. But it's never been the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? It's just been pretty good, very usable. Um, although they did have an impressive port of Mortal Kombat 2, I believe that was them. I know they did Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on the Xbox 360, but I think they were also Mortal Kombat 2 on the PS3. That didn't work. <laughs> Snake Man may not be the best guy to take on second, but we'll find out. Let's see if the top helps me at all. Wow. No. Top didn't help me at all. I think I got one more life, right? No, I do not. Okay. Let's go to stage select. No. What happens if I continue? Do I start at the beginning of stage? I do. Not too well. Yeah, I don't think I want to start at this stage. I want to try some new guys out because I don't know what the right order is or what the recommended order is. Technically, you can do any order you want. Alright, have a good one, man. Alright. Here's where I reluctant. He does a decent amount of damage, so probably the best way to go. Lockman I 
desperately needed you to give me help. Come on, little Mosquato. Whew, he didn't come back. I got lucky there. No! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, so those ones go just just north of you. Not good. At least you start there. how you handle that. <laughs> the perfect distance. No! <laughs> Way too soon. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give it one more go. Squato. Who else is 
a dick move? I'm not having these guys ever give you help. Oh, I didn't. I got it perfect last time. Not so much this time. But, I feel like I'm relatively equipped for Needleman now. I spoke way too soon. sure there we go save game okay now we'll quit all right now Jake had also said that or no I'm sorry Alan had said that his favorite uh, was uh, Mega Man 5 I've not played Mega Man 5 so let's give it a go Man, Gravity Man, Crystal Man, Napalm Man, Euro Man, Star Man, Wave Man, Charge Man. And the eyes don't move this time. You look like a big train. I want to play against you. Here we go. you can cheat in this one. So now, I want the button configurations to change. Right. Got it. So you might get hit, but at least you were getting even. That better not kill me. Looks 
looks like launch pad, doesn't it? Nice little drop off by a uh... Extra life of Palooza, if that's a thing. No! When will I learn to turn off notices before I stream? <laughs> you gotta be careful if you're on my friends list. Your name could end up anywhere.
I'm doing terrible. Wow, I've got like a million lives though because of those <laughs> moments where... Yeah, anyway. Train man took out the train man. But I heard the biggest thing with this game was that that Mega Buster shot or whatever is like overpowered, so it's the one everybody wants anyway. Charge. right decision this time around. <laughs> it's weird because I've already beaten him, so there's got to be some reason to do this, but I don't know what it is. fit on any one plane of damage. A in the blue corner is supposed to signify something. All right, who's next? Napalm Man. Why not Napalm Man? Right in the Vietnam War, Napalm Man comes equipped with Napalm. Oh man, it does even look like. It.
Come on, dude. <sighs> oh, really? It's like, we didn't want to tell you, Fred, but your progress was shit. Buddy. No idea what that's for. Oh, I knew the second I jumped, I was fucked.
is like no way to avoid that. Well, I'm sure there is, but... Damn, does it look hard to me. What? So I can't even hurt him with it. Yeah. SOL. If I get one more life, that'd be cool, but I don't. Okay. All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it a night. Uh, got some other gaming to do and things like that. But uh, Mega Man Legacy Collection, uh, I would say emulation on 3 was a little rough. 5 seems a lot better. And uh, I'll have some time to uh, play around with the rest later. But in the meantime, this is Red Rojas. Fire button. Boo. Not going to be using that. Can't. Just not right. Okay. All right, real quick, I want to play with the music player for a second. Oh, it's got the full soundtrack. That's so good. Ready? If you're not a huge video game music fan, I totally get why you find this boring, but I love this stuff. Japan uh, box art, not the dog terrible American box art, which was pretty terrible for both Mega Man 1 and 2, and then finally in 3, we get something not this good, but closely resembling uh, an actual Mega Man box. Um, before I'm trying to... Alright, here we go. I don't think 
just has the charge shot. Yep, it just has the slide. Okay. Now the key to good in emulation is can you handle or can it handle NES control as well? Which is definitely why I went PS4 for the D-pad over Xbox One. Although the Xbox One controller seems to have a pretty rock solid D-pad. They have emulated the slowdown, that's for sure. Oh yeah! Yeah, you bet you didn't think I could do that! But I can. adjustment is that you've got to adjust for getting knocked back like this. You do have your invincibility that helps you out. Yeah. I think they did that because a lot of people have the NES max coming up. So, thus far, I don't know how many of you have played this, but... Um, we go TV full wide okay I don't know if I want wide but I might go full throw a border on there and let's see. looks okay let's see what we get if we go with monitor we got like monitor coming in a little on the louder side now, so hopefully that'll work out, but uh, I'm trying to remember the order in which I'm supposed to play these guys in, and for the life of me, I can't, so let's go with Top Man, he seems like a fun little place to start. Remember, I don't know, actually the Japanese box art's just so much better across the board. Anyway, uh, Mega Man 1's a little archaic by today's design, that doesn't mean it's bad, but it's just a little archaic. That's pretty smooth. It looked like it was hitching for a second, sorry. Um, but uh, Mega Man 2, you know, controversially with Mega Man 3, has the best games in the series. Um, and uh, I want to give a big shout out and happy birthday to Neo Jake, Jake McClanahan. Oh, first the music. All right, me, hold on. I'm making this work. All right, me, I just uh, knocked it down a notch. Let me know if that uh, is working out a lot better. Uh, hopefully that does. So uh, let me know my levels. I always try to try, uh, test it with the recording, but of course you can't uh, tell how it's going to be. Um, am I doing better? All right, so... Uh, uh, so we're actually going to go with Mega Man 3 um, for Mr. Neo Jake Jake McClanahan, whose birthday it is. So happy birthday, Jake. Here we go. Ooh, there's all kinds of fun stuff. We're just going to play the game. Game in 
history. One, oh, one. Alright, what's up guys and welcome to Gaming History 101. Uh, I'm Fred Rojas and uh, today we are going to be taking a look at the Mega Man Legacy Collection. Now this was recently uh, released um, and contains the first six NES Mega Man games in their entirety uh, along with a bunch of collector's items and things like that. I don't know. I've got it, clearly, but uh, I do not... Um, I honestly have not gotten a chance to play it, so uh, let's take a gander at it together. So here we go. Uh, as you can see in the lower uh, right corner, there's a chat. Since there's no one in Twitch chat right now, I'm going to pop this over. I know you love seeing my beautiful face, but we'll pop this over to full screen and uh, we'll get going on it. Sorry if you just heard it. Like Digital Eclipse joint. My, my right now. Already this, so it looks like it's a you know, classic Mega Man. Big chunky sprites blown up to 1080p. Love it. All right, let's go. Pause select, okay. There's an auto 